Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee. I went yesterday. We had a couple of nice deals yesterday when we went shopping. Um, usually my local butcher, and I, I always get my burger down there. Um, you know, you go to the store and it's like you buy burger and it's real greasy and I just, I hate that. So I always buy my burger at my local butcher because it's never, it's like 90, 10 maybe, you know, it's like ground sirloin almost. So, but it is, it's pricey. It's, it's about five fifty a pound. You can come in. I won't. <laughs> They're not going to see you. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Why, hello, friends. <laughs> anyway, so it's usually about five fifty. It was six fifty a pound for a while. And then it went down. But I went and I found these roasts for four forty nine a pound. And I thought, you know what? We're going to grind them up. And we're also going to make meatloaf burgers. I'm going to make them for tonight because we're cooking on Mr. Wayne's brand new grill. He just bought a, what is it? Blackstone, I think. It's got a griddle and a grill. It's it's real fancy. Blackstone. I'll, Blackstone. I'll show you. He loves it. Anyway, we're going to grind this up. All of this. It's quite a bit there. And I'm going to make like meatloaf burgers out of this for the freezer as well. So, let's get busy. I've got my little grinder out. It's a little electric grinder. I've had this for quite some time, but I love the thing. Let me put this down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, knife here. These were gorgeous. These are three and a half pounds a piece and 14 or four dollars and 49 cents a pound. Let me open this up. I missed you guys. We're adjusting though. It's not always easy. Throw that in there. And I'll do that one, but I won't open that up quite yet. I'm gonna leave the plastic on that one. Set it up there. Now I just cut this just in chunks like so. As long as it fits in my grinder, it's good. Except I don't like that big knife. Let me find... There we go. I don't know which is worse. I need to sharpen these. Let me wash this off and sharpen it. These are rata knives. And I got this little rata knife sharpener. It is a nice one. So I'm going to sharpen it. Oof. That's like running somebody's fingers down a chalkboard. I hate this. I got goosebumps. I'm used to sharpening my knives on an old iron, you know. Well, sharpening steel or whatever they call it. Yeah, that worked. Okay, we'll get this chopped up and ground up. And then I'll show you how I make my meatloaf burgers are delicious. And then when we're done, we'll show you the grill. And we're going to make, I'm going to make these meatloaf burgers and I'm also going to do some sauteed veggies on the griddle part of it. So, I'll show you that too. Okay, here we go. 
I'm going to get this ground up. You guys enjoy the music. I'm going to put it in fast forward. Okay, friends, take a look there. Big old huge bowl, and you see the little brown bits are from the bread, because I always run bread through my grinder. I'm gonna put that in that bigger bowl. All right, now, this is really easy. I do this all the time, and my family loves it. You don't, now, you don't have to use stove tap. But I love the stovetop stuffing instead of the bread crumbs. So I'm going to dump this in there. I'm going to make a little well in there. Because I'm going to put this, and I might need two boxes. Because I do got quite a bit of burger here. Yep, I'm going to need two. Let me go get another box. Okay. Got this one. I'm gonna tell you something too. I I grew when my kids were little, you know, I raised my kids by myself. I was as poor as poor as me. And I would do anything, I would add anything I could to make my burger stretch. And the thing that I found that I used a lot of, and my kids just ate the heck out of it. Well, they ate anyway. They ate whatever I put in front of them. I was very fortunate that way. But I would mix lentils, cooked lentils, in with my burger, and it would make it stretch. So you can do that if you want. And I know things are expensive right now. The only thing I'm going to add to this is salt and pepper because that is all seasoned. But I'm not putting lentils in this. This is okay. I got this on sale and I got on a good deal. I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Maybe a teaspoon and a half of salt. Now, usually for one pound of burger, you do one egg. I'm going to put five eggs in this. Okay? Because my eggs are big. Two. Look at the size of them. They're good size. And another thing, when you freeze these, I freeze these into patties. Yeah. I freeze these into patties. Now, you don't have to do that. You can make this up ahead, just like I'm doing right now, and make it for a meatloaf. And just shape it in a meatloaf and freeze it. You know, whatever. But these make the best meatloaf burgers ever. I have done these for my children since they were little. 
The only difference is, is I used to put, I'm going to need a little bit of milk in here too because this burger is really lean too. Um, the only thing I used to do different than I do now is I'd add lentils or black beans or beans, pinnel beans, any kind of beans really. I, I would do beans too. work on mixing this all up real good. I'm going to add a little bit of milk to this. Maybe. I might have to add a little bit of oil to it too because it's pretty dry. So let me get this mixed up and I'll bring it back when it's all set because I need two hands. I got these pattied up. While my grill is heating up, I'm gonna patty these up. And then I just flash freeze them on a on a like a cookie sheet. And we'll meet you out at the grill. I know I said I'd meet you out at the grill, but I wanted to show you what I got patted up from my freezer. Beautiful, I got a dozen of them, six beautiful ones. And then I took these. And let me fix my camera. These are perfect for meatloaf for like two people. And I got a little bit of this left, so first, I should have done this first. I'm just going to put a little olive oil in here because I just have better look with that and it'll keep it from sticking on me. So I just put a little olive oil, you can spray it, doesn't matter. And just pack that in there. I got enough of both of these. Perfect amount. You can take these out, put them in your slow cooker, put your seasoning in there with it, or your barbecue sauce, or, you know, whatever it is you put in there. But we'll put the divot in the middle so that it's all set. There we go. Now these are easy. I'm going to wash my hands up real quick. Perfect, aren't they? Perfect size. All right, we're going to take a little, there we go. And then I'm done with that. Okay. All I'm going to do Hold it. Just fold the sides. sides up so no air or steam escapes that. And you can bake it in the oven or you can take it apart. And I'll use mine for the oven. Or you can package them so where you can use them in your uh, slow cooker or your Instapot. Either or. So there you have it friends. Now that I got those two and I'll just free those like that and when they're frozen I'll just wrap them with some um plastic wrap. So now we will definitely meet up at the barbecue grill. Okay friends, this is our new Blackstone grill. This thing is awesome. And I have got, look at these. Ooh, we're going to put these burgers on this one first. I've got a little oil on that. I'm going to put a little more olive oil on there. Just a little bit because I got a lot on my veggies. There we go. 
There you go. Those are going to cook up beautiful on there. So, we're just going to close that down. And let those... So oh, yeah, look at that. I had a runaway. We're just going to put this on here. And we'll close this down and let those ones saute. And then we got these burgers. You want to do the burgers? Yeah, you do the burgers. There you go. That's going to be nice. I just grab them with my fingers. And the part over there that my where I'm sauteing the veggies, that grill comes off there, and then it's a burner. So it's kind of it's it's awesome, Sassy. There we go. So you see those and the veggies. Turn that down, and we will. And we will. Let's see here. You want to see us? <laughs> there we go. We're having a ball with this, friends. But you know what? I've got everything done. I showed you how to do the meatloaf burgers. You see, we're cooking on the grill. We're having ourselves a good old time. So anyway, we're going to finish cooking this. We're going to enjoy our dinner. You all have a wonderful night, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, friends. Bye-bye. <laughs>